Well, 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 what have we here? That's right. I am building myself a tricycle. Am I reverting to my childhood? Well, probably yes, but not because I want to, but because I, until this foot is healed, I can't really use my regular bike. And so, since it walk around with a cane, it gets kind of tiresome on the hip and other foot for a while. This is what was recommended as a way for me to exercise my way back to health. So, I am about to put this all together, this Schwinn Meridian 26 inch wheel adult trike, and I will let you know how it goes in just a few minutes. So, get ready. Anyway, there is the main unit. Wheels are included, but that's the main unit. And what I have to do is attach the handlebars, which is easy enough, put on the front wheel, and then add the rear element, which is basically what makes it into a trike. So you'll be seeing the results of this. Oops, sorry about that. In just a second. All right. I mean, all right. Here's our progress report. There's the lovely Marie. Hello assisting in this endeavor. We now have the front wheel on, handlebars in place. We're now adding that rear section. And now we have to add the chain from here to the rear section. That will power the drive wheel, which is, I think, this. So, we'll be back to you after completion. See you then. All right, after not too much work and some fine help over there. It is all done. I'm not putting the basket on because A, it's a bit heavy, so why add that weight? And I'm not going to the supermarket or anything. I just want to put it around the neighborhood, so I'll leave that off. Do I have it if I want to put it on? The fenders, likewise, I have left off because they rattle, they're a little hassle. And I'm not riding outside when it's wet, so... Plus, I think it looks a little less, I don't know, weird without the fenders. I like it without the fender. I think it's kind of weird looking at these hand grips. They look like spaceships or something. I suppose that's so you don't bang your leg with the handlebars if you're making weird turns. Why don't you stand by the machine so you can get a size proportion? Yeah, don't get on it because I haven't tightened the seat, but you can see. It's quite big. Huh, yeah. And I have the seat up nice and high, and it's got all that old retro Schwinn business. The only hard part, well, the hardest part was getting that back chain on. It has a little master links. Marie cleverly did it because I was not being so clever. Wow. I'm <laughs> trying to put it together. <clears throat> And uh, they say you can do it on your own, that's true. But they also say it's good if you can have someone else to help you. That's true, too. For example, the master length. Or just getting the handlebars straight and aligned with the wheel and whatnot. Anyway, so I'll just adjust the brakes, tighten the pedals up a bit more, and you'll be ready to go. All right, that's all. The Schwinn Meridian Adult Trike. <laughs> hey, cyclist, try cyclist. Epilogue. In conclusion, I tried the bike myself as well, and I felt like I dope. Um, riding a track is not as easy as it seems. One thing is that you have a lot of bad bicycle habits. Well, any of my bicycle habit is a bad trike habit. And one of those is like putting your foot down before you completely stop. Do that, and that foot will get run over by the back wheels on the trike. And the other is that the you notice the camber of the street, which you don't notice on the bicycle. When you're riding a bicycle on a street, I mean, every street has curvature, so water will flow off from one side to the other. 
if you're in a town that's on a constant slope like ours, every street, the camber is all downward. But at any rate, when you're on a bicycle, you automatically compensate. You balance, and so you don't even notice that you have that camber. But on a trike, you know, if the street is like that, your trike is going to lay on that, a flat plane. And that means automatically, if you, by your bicycle instinct, you start turning the wheel right and going into, you start going into the curb. Not a good thing. You're ideally supposed to be compensating by turning the handlebars to the opposite um, direction and, of course, overcompensating at first. Um, so, tonight, I'll go back out and practice. Um, on that score, I would have practiced more this afternoon, except I didn't tighten the seat enough, so it started slipping backwards. So definitely make sure you get that seat tightly fastened to the post. Anyway, so um, that is it for the great Schwinn Meridian Bike Assembly and Tryout Adventure. May your days be merry and bright, and may all your Tuesdays be Meridian. Bye.